I'm freezing. <laughs> it's so cold in here. And thank you for, you guys are like the diehards of the conference. I'm so impressed that you're still here. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be quick so we can all warm up and go home. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I'm going to talk about bringing the LAMP stack to the Jamstack. Jamstack is JavaScript APIs and markup. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. Um, my background is pretty different than probably most of yours in terms of it's more web oriented and um, now using the cloud, but I'll explain a little bit. So, okay, my background is I have been working with WordPress for the last 14 years, like hardcore working with WordPress, organizing the conferences in Israel, speaking at conferences in Europe and the States and Israel and I founded a WordPress development agency and now I founded a company that supports WordPress websites. And when you guys hear WordPress, you probably think, okay, that has nothing to do with us. That's like old time, awful stuff that we stay away from. Um, and that is true because it has many problems related to its LAMP architecture and the database, um, which I became more and more familiar with and became bigger a bigger pain for me and my clients, my company, as time went on. So I founded a startup called Stratic. Um, now, oh yeah, this is your reaction to me talking about WordPress. Sorry, I forgot about that. Horror, right? It's like nobody wants to touch it. And if you guys have WordPress websites in your company, which a lot of you might have, I know that if they ever come to you and ask you to help them with it, you're like, please no, anybody else but me, right? <laughs> so that's the horror of dealing with WordPress. Um, I know it's also like considered beneath you. So anyways, as I'm working in the web, um, I start to explore I like to keep up to date on things. I started exploring the whole field of static site generators, which sounded amazing to me because, you know, like Hugo and Jekyll and all that, because uh, the output is so stable and fast and performant and it's just, it's great. Um, but of course I come from the world of WordPress and that's not going anywhere anytime soon, 30% of the internet. Also, most people managing websites are marketers. So they're not going to be so happy if you give them a website and say, here, now use command line interface every time you want to write a blog post. So, yeah, that's my feelings about static site generators. But how do we get uh, WordPress to the world of the Jamstack? Um, is there a way? Can these two worlds come together? And yes, they can. Uh, this, this is how we do it. So basically the goal is to get WordPress into a bucket. Um, and the question is how do we do that in a way where the, the result is exactly the same as the original site, right? because the original site has functionality, it looks a certain way, acts a certain way, you don't want to be taking away anything from that. So, Lambda. Now, the reason that we can do what we do today is thanks to Lambda and where it has come to um, in terms of its uh, feature set functionality and abilities. Um, people have tried to do what we're doing earlier, like, years, like four years ago, five years ago, six years ago, and they could not succeed they actually had to kind of try to invent Lambda, whereas we get to use Lambda, which makes our lives really much easier. So we trigger Lambda, then we trigger all sorts of mini Lambdas, um, and we have our own API, which it, um, it targets, which it reads, whatever, and, um, and then it starts to get the content from the site. Um, we wanted to make sure, so the way that our platform works is the original WordPress site still exists, so that marketers don't have to learn a new platform and you can still get all the benefits of WordPress, which there are many. Um, and we want to put them in a container and have them spin down when not in use for security reasons and for, perform and for costs. And so we read about Fargate and we started to pop up as something that could be a potential use, uh, potentially useful for us. So we started to explore it. Fargate has problems. I think we'll, it will get to a place where it can be used, but. Um, with our use case where it had to spin up for the user whenever they want to log in and use it, it took, it took way too long. We're talking about like two minutes, um, which is, it, it's, you know, it's an impatient type of process and also the cost was too high. So we ended up with uh, this type of architecture um, at this point so that we have the scalability. Um, I, I mentioned the Lambda crawling the site and basically scraping it. And we thought that's the complicated part, but that actually wasn't the complicated part. The complicated part was doing that without crashing the original server where the WordPress site was sitting on. That turned out to be more resource intensive than we thought. So this way it can scale and we have it scaling in all sorts of ways whenever a client deploys their changes. Our, also we want to make sure the user experience is almost exactly the same as if they were using the original site only. So we've gotten down the deploy um, time to seconds 
Whereas if you use a static site generator and you have to deploy a site that gets to any size that's significant, it could take 10 minutes, half hour or more. So um, that's with that. And in the end, this is just some of what we're using with Amazon in terms of our architecture. Um, there's more and there's different integrations and different ways that we're using things together. I'm not going to get into that because it's kind of proprietary. <laughs> but um, basically the bottom line is this is a five minute talk and I'm freezing. And I just wanted to say how we could not do what we're doing without um, AWS. And I went from being a WordPress like geek, I'm still a geek, but um, who never touched AWS in our industry. We just basically don't touch it mostly um, to loving the cloud. Yay, cloud and AWS. So, um, yeah. So that's us. And that's what we're doing. And thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.